we're ready to get started. It took me a minute to track her down back there behind the curtains, but she's as ready as she's ever going to be. Um, thank you, thank you, thank you for coming and um, listening to all of Molly's hard work. It took her 10 years to get to this point um, and prepare to perform this awesome program that she's put together for you. Um, it didn't come without um, a lot of obviously work and a lot of support and help from her teachers and her music peers and um, and you'll see as the night goes on all those that were involved in helping this evening to become a success for her uh, in her senior year. Um, she will follow the program as outlined and then we'll have a short intermission and so without further ado we're going to welcome Molly um, Trujillo to the stage and her accompanist Carmel Nye. excited to be performing for all of you and I have to have my notes up here with me so I don't forget it. Um, so for my first piece I'm going to be playing Concerto in C Major by Kowalski and he is a Russian composer. Um, this song is filled with a lot of difficult elements in it. Um, it's probably one of my most or more harder pieces I've played throughout all my years of playing so of course that's what I'm going to start with. <laughs> so I hope you enjoy it. Thank you. 
It's Chrysler and I recently played this for a scholarship audition and I won the second higher second highest scholarship um, by playing this song um, along with two others. So I hope you enjoy it. assigned me and it's become one of my other favorites and I'll be bold enough to say that it's one of hers too and I really enjoy it it's really pretty and I hope that you all think the same Thank you. 
This recital would not have happened without a select few. Um, so first, obviously, I would like to thank my accompanist, Carmel Nye. Um, she dedicated a lot of her time practicing with me and obviously being here tonight for this performance. And she is so talented, and I'm so grateful that she was so willing to play for me tonight. So please join me in a round of applause for And let me add to that, um, when I play for Molly, I get to do it one song at a time, and we prepare, and we prepare, and we prepare, and so it just is a huge testament to Carmel's love and expertise at the piano that she can do song after song after song, all condensed into one evening, and I, for one, have never got to sit and listen to Molly perform. Um, I've always been at the piano, so thank you, Carmel, for allowing me the treat. Oh, sorry, Molly. There's supposed to be tears up here. <laughs> thank you for allowing me the treat to be able to sit and watch my daughter do what she has practiced and loved for 10 years. It has been a joy. So, okay, so next, I would like to thank my band and choir, and I also like to call her my second mom, Mrs. Hale, because without her I wouldn't be able to participate in a lot of the competitions that the school um, is able to participate in, and I wouldn't be able to audition for the Allstate groups I've had the pleasure of um, going to, as well as All Northwest, and she's just a great lady, so please give Miss Hale a round of applause. I couldn't ask for a better second mom for this kid. <laughs> All right, and then I would like to thank, of course, my violin teacher, Lori Casperson. Um, <clears throat> I said I would not cry, so I'm not going to. Um, without her, I wouldn't be the player I'm today, obviously. Um, she has taught me so many amazing things, um, and she hasn't just taught me how to play the violin, but she's taught me how to become a better person. She's taught me a good work ethic, work ethic, right? Okay. <laughs> um, and yeah, I just hope that my performance tonight lets her know how grateful I am um, for everything she's done for me and what she's done in my life. So. And we would, of course, like to thank Mr. B. This is his facility that he has so graciously allowed us to use tonight. Um, he works the lights, the sound, this microphone I'm speaking into, so we're very grateful for him and his willingness for us to use his auditorium, so. And he's back in the sound booth, being the same busy as ever, so. Okay, and then, um, no, she wants to go sit down, but she doesn't get to because <clears throat> she 
toe boss. Um, I would like to thank my mom because she has put up with a lot of, and excuse my language, crap for me um, when it comes to not wanting to practice or not practicing enough. Um, but I would just like to thank her, number one, for being my mom, but for all the love and support she shows me because if it weren't for her, I would not be standing on this stage today. So. Okay, so um, for those of you who got a program, you would see, I believe on the back of it, um, I am dedicating my whole recital to a very, very special person, Brother Monk, and I saw him, he's right there. Um, I had a dream to play the violin when I was three years old, and when I was eight, this very special person came into our lives, and he not only helped me find the most amazing teacher ever, um, she is his niece, for those of you who didn't know, um, but he also offered to help fund my violin lessons, and if it weren't for him, I for sure would not be on this stage today or be the violinist I am today. So if we could all please give Brother Monk a huge round of applause. I'd like to thank all of you who came tonight. Your support means everything to me. I'd like to thank my family and not just the one in my home, but aunts and uncles. I see aunt and uncle right there. There's Kyle that wants me to thank him, so we'll thank Kyle, <laughs> my brother-in-law, um, and everybody else. Um, I then I'd especially like to thank, I saw my, some of my church leaders out there, Sister Craner. Um, and speaking of church, I know a lot of you are here from our ward or from church or know me from church. Um, I am very grateful to have been raised in such a wonderful gospel. It means um, everything to me, and I have a very big testimony. Um, of Jesus Christ our Savior, and so with that, I would like to play a medley of hymns, um, so I hope you enjoy, and we'll continue on with the rest of the recital.
this for this moment, but I will be playing um, concerto in E minor, the first movement by Mendelssohn. This is my senior piece. This is by far the most difficult piece I've played. Um, and my teacher and I have worked very hard on it. I went to Georgia for the summer, and we even Skyped and did violin lessons because we were not going to miss out on getting a head start on this song. So I hope you guys enjoy it and all of the thousands to millions of notes that are within it. <laughs>
I lost track. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to go backstage real quick. And when I come back on, I will be playing Phantom of the Opera, arranged by Lindsay Sterling, as well as a Michael Jackson medley, also arranged by Lindsay Sterling. And I don't think I really need to describe how cool these songs are, because I'm just going to try to show you. <laughs>